Let's be fair. J.D. Vance was not a good pick. It seems that Trump is still terrible at picking good people. He didn't learn important things from his last experience as president. If he becomes president again, his cabinet will likely again be filled with nepotism and just poor choices in general. Actual merit won't be what he bases his decisions on. Trump has proven this too many times to count, and J.D. Vance is just the latest proof of this. I haven't been watching Trump's rallies in their entirety. They're boring. I don't usually watch entire rallies of anyone in general because, well, they're boring. I, I won't watch them unless there's something that's brought to my attention. Hey, you should check this out. I mean, sometimes they don't know what the, uh, the, t the time stamp is, so you got to watch the whole thing. Or they'll say, well, there's so many things that they discuss throughout the rally that you should check out. Okay, yeah, I might check it out. But otherwise, no. I watch debates and interviews as well as clips of rallies. And so, you know, I probably watched a small handful of rallies over this, this past decade. But it's still just not a normal thing for me. You have to be pretty dedicated to watch all of that. Especially since the politicians usually start repeating themselves between different rallies. It's like watching a stand-up comedian across different places they go. Yeah, they're, they're telling the same jokes throughout the different rent, uh, you know, venues. I do watch Trump's rumble videos describing what his policies would look like. And I like a lot of his policies. Not all of them. Some of them really worry me. But do they worry me more than I like his other policies? I don't know the answer to that. Not yet, anyway. There are some people who seem to expect me to watch all of Trump's rallies in their entirety in order for me to claim that Trump hasn't significantly addressed something. Like Kamala's actual shortcomings rather than just her race. Yeah, it's just not a reasonable request. His rallies don't honestly matter nearly as much as his other appearances. Trump was a total bonehead when he made Kamala's race a negative issue at that uh, conference, that black journalist conference. If Trump knows how media works, why would he say something so incredibly stupid? Not all publicity is good publicity, Trump. As much as there are countless people with Trump derangement syndrome who essentially think that Trump is the next Hitler, there are plenty of MAGA people who think that Trump can do no wrong. They assign almost supernatural attributes to him, especially after the attempted assassination. Oh, he has God on his side. How about how MAGA treated Kyle Rittenhouse after he said that he was going to write in Ron Paul uh, in the election because uh, of the views on uh, firearms? Yeah, how he was treated by the MAGA cult was disgusting. Just, just, just total cult behavior. Mob behavior, if nothing else. Just really disgusting behavior. And from so many people. What, so if you support someone, they need to support a specific candidate? And yes, seeing that kind of cult behavior does deter me from wanting to vote for Trump. Do I want to contribute to a cult-like culture? And yes, Kyle caved into the pressure after countless guilt trips from the MAGA cult. And no, I don't like Kyle Rittenhouse. Especially after he told Native Americans on Twitter, or X, to go back to the country they came from. But the cult-like behavior from so many MAGA people is worrisome to me. And the people who have this behavior the most, the people that are part of the cult, just can't see it. When confronted on it, they just call it, oh, it's just enthusiasm. Even the MAGA people who get interviewed, who say it wouldn't matter what kind of crime Trump could commit, you know, even murder, that they'd still be 100% on board. Yeah, even those people think that it's not cult-like behavior, that it's just enthusiasm. Yes, I get that right now Trump could be the only one who really wants to do something about the deep state. Whatever that even means right now, as different people have different definitions of it. If we're just talking about corruption and bureaucracy and things like that, that's one thing, but... That's not, uh, that's not what it means to some other people. Some people assign this weird, kooky conspiracy theory stuff, and I'm just not into that. But yes, I get that Trump will try to take down the deep state, and he's anti-woke, and he's tough on illegal immigration. He plans on massive deportations. But does that deserve the cult-like following? 
People like Vivek Ramaswamy have similar plans, but you don't have any sort of, you, you don't, <laughs> it's, it doesn't seem to be about policy. It seems to be about personality. And you know what? I, I get that people like the fact that you can't really control Trump. That's, I, I think that's one of the things that people like about him the most. You can't control Trump. You're, nev- you're not going to control him. No matter what he's put against, he's still going to be him. You know, you can't beat his spirit. So I get that element, but I don't think that's something that should deserve a cult following, honestly. And as much as I would enjoy watching woke people freak out if Trump wins, I worry about enabling Trump's cult followers. I'd also love to see MAGA people freak out if Trump loses. Because there's no way Trump is going to run again in 2028. So the, the whole the whole Trump side of MAGA would be dead. There would have to be someone else to take the reins, and I don't know whether that's going to happen. There is a lot of corruption in the government, and it would be nice if we actually worked on that. But I don't know whether Trump would really be the person to do that. He could be. He seems to be one of the few that would. But... You know, I I think there are other people that could take the reins on this, but I I don't know whether you'd allow it. You can riot all you want, but it's not going to change the election. It's not going to change the results of the election. Anyway, have a joy, joy day.